Lena is bilingual. She speaks German and Dutch. This means there are two languages in her head. If Lena speaks Dutch, she can't simply switch off her German. When she talks about food, all the words which have something to do with food wake up. Not only in Dutch, but also in German. This means that it's sometimes difficult to find the right word in the right language. When Lena wants to say the Dutch word lepel, then sometimes the German word löffel pops out. Emre is also bilingual. He speaks Turkish and Dutch. When Emre reads or hears a word, he sometimes doesn't know which language it comes from. Suppose he hears pasta. The same word also exists in Turkish, but in Turkish it means something else. Cake. This means that children like Emre can take a bit longer to figure out which word is being used. But knowing two languages can also help you. Imagine Emre hears the Dutch word penguin. The Turkish word is penguin. These two words almost sound the same, and they also mean the same. This helps Emre to recognize this word faster. If you've two languages in your head, you can always choose which language to use. Bilinguals sometimes use words from both languages in the same sentence. Here's Lena again. She says in Dutch, Kijk, mama, and faradje. This may sound like a mishmash, but it isn't. Such sentences follow the rules of both languages. In the sentence, Lena uses the German word for bike, farad, and turns it into a Dutch word by sticking ch on the end. So mixing two languages is actually something very creative. If you're bilingual, you sometimes do things differently. This makes sense because you have more than one language in your head. These two languages are connected to each other. Sometimes they get in each other's way and sometimes they help each other. No matter what, being bilingual is not the same as being two monolinguals in one.